Uh-huh. Study to show yourself approved unto God, rightly dividing the word of truth. Amen. But again, I say, take time to know him. Amen. Give Jesus a great big hand clap. We'll call Pastor Chad up here. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. I love y'all. Amen. You know, you're talking about parables, how there's some things hidden. There's a lot of things that's in plain sight. And he said he wondered why he uh, had dreams. Well, the Bible says that old men dream dreams. <laughs> we were arguing the other day. He says, I'm not old. That's the word. <laughs> I'm sorry. Amen. You know, the thing is, if you would just, uh, real quick as we get ready to close, if you would just talk about the secret things, the hidden mysteries of God, there's things in there that you, you won't be taken uh, off guard and, and the, the, in the parables. But you see, why, why I saw something this morning, and I want her to put this picture up. And if you wouldn't realize and, and know what is happening because of the Word of God, you would, you would just look at it and say, yes, yes. But what you're seeing on, on the screen, church, is the beginning of Revelation starting to take place. This was this, was this morning, which was in the nighttime, at the old wall of Jerusalem. There is a peace pact that 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 through the Arab uh, immigrants and Bahrain and and uh, the, the United States brokered it with Israel. And what is happening? This is revelation starting to take place. And if you just know it, and what's going to happen is going to be more peace and more peace and more peace. Then the word of God says, when they say peace and safety, then comes sudden destruction. So I will, I preached this uh, Sunday morning about burn the ships. It was probably one of the most um, uh, I got more response from that message than, than, than I got from a lot of messages lately. I, 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 you know, so, but the thing was, you got to realize here we are, we, we, we're fighting with COVID-19. We got masks on, uh, churches are shut down. And in all this time, God is still working all this time. We see that something's working behind the scenes. I told you then in the book of Isaiah, it said in the, the year that King Uzziah died, Uzziah meant strength. The Lord is my my strength, it means strength. So the year that strength died, where was God? He was still high and he was still lifted up. Church, we better, we better, what my dad was talking about, now is a time more than ever before that we're seeing the things unfold. This isn't a fantastic time. I'm so excited what God's going to do because he's still high and lifted up. Come on, give the Lord a hand clap. I don't want you to look at, at, at what Washington's doing. We need to look at what Israel's doing because this is where God's coming back. The Bible talks about that, that the ten nations come against Israel. If you would study that in the, uh, the, uh, the United Arab Emirates, there is just about that many nations that's going to come against Israel. you got to understand this goes b- between Isaac and Ishmael. This goes, it's coming full circle. So I, I want you to keep your eyes on the news, especially when it comes to Israel. When I saw that this morning, I said, look here. <clears throat> look here. The Bible says that there would always be enmity. The, the, those two were going to fight. You know, uh, Isaac and Ishmael always fought. Uh, you know, Ishmael always bullied Isaac. They, she, he said, cast out the bondwoman and her son. Guess what? The peace is, they're saying peace, but we've got to look at what the word of God says. Amen. And I believe that's when it's all going to come down because a lot of the things is we're looking for two different things. And this is too much to get into. Uh, but the, what the Bible talks about the Antichrist, if you'd read the Quran, it's called the Muhadid. It's almost the same thing. They're looking at two different parts of scripture, which I don't preach revelation uh, a whole whole lot because uh, uh, there's too much work to do right now, <clears throat> amen, in, in the church, but, but, but we can get into revelations at some point. So, so what we're calling, uh, you know, the Antichrist, they're calling the Muhadid, and so it's, it's a bigger picture, but I wanted you to, this right here, uh, this is revelation starting to unfold, and that got me excited, which, which, because see, I don't see revelation as scary, spooky, mark of the beast, Antichrist, oh my God, I see it in, in, in the scripture, and it says, in the kingdom of uh, of men shall become the kingdom of our Lord. This is victory, amen. But God, I guess it, that God is doing something. So I wanna, I wanted to show you that, and and, and you know, and, and and if you wouldn't know those hidden things that my dad talked about, you wouldn't realize what really is going on. This is God still at work, amen. So give the Lord a hand clap of praise. <clears throat> uh, last Sunday, two Sundays ago, one when, when was it? I don't remember. 
I felt like the Lord put a scripture in my spirit and said, and the plague stayed. And I told everybody, I really feel, uh, when was it? So y'all were here. Y'all know when it was. And I said, I really feel like this, this coronavirus is coming to an end. I don't care what they say. And then today they're talking about the, that cure. Yesterday or the day before, they, they isolated the cell that starts the virus. So they, they said, and it don't stick to any human tissue. So there's no side effects if that don't happen. So they're, and then now they're talking about the vaccine in a matter of weeks or months. Uh, you know, so I'm telling you, I think God has has woke us up. He has showed us something. But I think that now, now God wants his people. Amen. That, you know, to do what we need to call to do. Amen. So so I, I've talked enough. Amen. And we want to thank my dad. Uh, I will be uh, Sunday morning. We'll be we'll be here next Sunday. Me and Sister Shirley is going away for the weekend. We need to just energize, our, you know, and get away. Um, uh, Sister Jan will be ministering. Uh, she has a lot of people was asked when she was ministering again how many enjoy Sister Jan every single time. <clears throat> the, the month of October, my dad will be starting another teaching series on Wednesday nights. Uh, have you have you settled on the? the <clears throat> yeah, so so he might take the parables a little more. I'll go to fruit of the spirit. So that'll be uh, every Wednesday night. <clears throat> Well, two two Wednesday nights out of <laughs> in October, my dad will be ministering. Uh, <clears throat> there, uh, uh, I forgot they were. You know, when we, had, we we you know he we we forgot that some kind of way it got mixed up. But they're going to see uh, 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 their grandson in Texas. Their grandson, I don't know who he is. Uh, my nephew in Texas. So. Uh, amen. So I just want to thank God for what He's doing. God is doing something great. God's doing something awesome, and I'm excited. Yes, we got a lot of people. Mr. Ed, uh, one of Tony's friends from the bank, he's, uh, she really liked him. You know, he's always made her day, uh, you know, and, and, you know, she'd always come home and say, I saw Mr. Ed today, and he's got stage four cancer, so keep him in prayer. They can't go see him uh, because of all, 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 all this stuff going on, so let's keep him in prayer. Let's keep the people in the hurricane. We, we know how that feels, and, and, and Alabama got pounded, so let's just probably worse because of the rain. Uh, let's keep them in prayer and let's do what we want to do. I will say the uh, the church gave uh, a pallet of water out. Sister Jan, if you saw it on Facebook, we <clears throat> we bought a pallet of water we, we, to the first responders and, and, and to also the people that are displaced. Uh, also, remember the, the anointed handkerchiefs. We preach with them. Uh, we, we are, the prayer team anoints them. If you need uh, uh, you know, so a healing or, or you want to give it to somebody, for we believe with you, uh, that's there. Uh, if you have anything to give to the Lord tonight, the offering is open as I get ready to dismiss. Uh, we'll take up tithes and offerings. I want to thank everybody for all the giving that has been done, everything that uh, I, every Sunday I, I'm baffled what, what God has done, uh, God is doing, and there's, I don't understand how um, that much money can be coming from these little people. I don't know how it's doing. It has to be supernatural. Uh, and, and, and I believe the church is coming. Uh, where we're at there is we're, we're waiting. Uh, I got to pick up some plans. I, I'm a couple days late. Uh, and then they're going to send that to the police juror. We'll get the permit for the, for the drainage. Uh, the, um, the rain stopped. They're supposed to do the boring. Uh, but the hurricane pushed that a little bit back. And then they don't, they'll, they'll have to do the foundation. So ho hopefully, you know, I'm still saying in winter, uh, spring, you know, we'll, we'll begin to start the, uh, the, the process. We have all the money for the dirt work sitting in the bank. Uh, he don't want to do that till about three weeks before we put a slab. Uh, so we're just going to keep praying, keep believing. Amen. So I want to thank everybody for what they're doing. Remember the plate lunches. Amen. Remember if you want that uh, this weekend, sister, sis, it's crawfish, fettuccine, shrimp, fettuccine, and fried catfish. Amen. So we want to thank everybody. Uh, that's about it. I think we've talked too much. Let's bow our heads. Lord, Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for letting us come to the house of the Lord. Lord, we give you all the glory and all the honor, Lord. Lord, the, the prayer, Lord, that we talked about, the people that are needing prayer, Lord. Lord, Mr. Ed, Lord, I we ask you, Lord, to, to be with him, Lord. Send him a healing, Lord. If, if you don't heal him, Lord, just comfort him, Lord, and bring him through this, Lord. We want to keep Brother Jimmy in prayer. Uh, Lord, there's more people that I'm forgetting, but there's you know their names. I just lift you up in prayer, Lord. We Lord, we lift up the hurricane uh, victims, Lord, the ones that that are uh, going through it, Lord. We ask you to lift it up, Lord, and we give you all the glory and all the honor. And the church says, Amen. You're dismissed in the name of Jesus.